You say hi? You say hi? You say hi? Yeah. What's up, Tuner Heads, and welcome back to another video. And today, we are back in our room. We've been traveling a lot. We were just at the US Open. Now we're back in our room, and we have Tilly with us. Hello. And today we we are going to be talking about Taylor Townsend. But before we start the video, I want to make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any new videos that we have. So I'm going to give you five seconds to hit that subscribe button. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hit that subscribe button. Now let's get straight into the video. Now Taylor Townsend has become the talk of the town this week because she just recently beat Simona Halep in three sets, coming to net over a hundred times, 106 to be exact. And she has been making waves at this year's headlines and she's been doing unbelievably well. She's into her first second week of a senior Grand Slam. But to give you a little bit of background before we get into this, Taylor Townsend was the number one junior in the world in the women's side. And she's won multiple Junior Grand Slams. She won the singles title in the Juniors at the Australian Open. She's won two doubles Grand Slam titles in the Juniors rankings as well. Now, I think a lot of things have been overlooked when it comes to talking about Taylor Townsend on the broadcast, especially on ESPN, but it has been very popular on tennis Twitter, is that Taylor Townsend in 2012 was not allowed a wild card from the USTA because they wanted her to lose weight. Now, crazy to think that we that as a society we have overlooked this a lot, especially when it comes to her story, because this is a big part of who she is, and this is a big part of how she's kind, how she's come up, and how she's overcome so many adversities when it comes to dealing with USTA. Now, when we go back and talk about Taylor Townsend, there are a couple things you have to know. When Taylor Townsend was growing up, her parents asked her to choose a sport because her parents couldn't afford to go to college, so they asked her to pick a sport, and she picked up tennis very quickly and picked it up really well, in fact. She was one of the top uprising juniors in the world. She won the Easter Bowl, she, and after her junior success, a lot of the uprising American juniors get a wild card into the US Open to showcase these players to make sure that they are given a stage and publicly recognized by one of the world's biggest stages at the US Open. But in 2012, when Patrick McEnroe was the head of USTA development, Taylor Townsend wasn't given a wild card into the US Open because they wanted, she didn't have the right look. In this case, they wanted her to lose weight so that way she can compete because they were worried about her fitness. That was the official reason why they gave the wild card to another player and she wasn't awarded it. And that's something that's not really talked about enough because now the USTA and the US Open are giving her the limelight, they're talking about her more, they're talking about how she's overcoming all these odds, and how she's one of the upcoming players. Taylor Townsend has been around for a while and no one's, and they haven't recognized her up until this point. It's only until they do well at a Grand Slam that they actually recognize her for her actual talent. She's been grinding it out in 125Ks, that's one of the lower level WTA tournaments, and she's been grinding it out for so long that they didn't really recognize her up until this point. And I think there's a bigger issue going on when it comes to her and the USTA. She was welcomed with open arms with Donald Young's parents and she trains in Atlanta currently with them as well. And not many people are using the USTA when it comes to player development. Now, I had a conversation a while back in Atlanta with Martin Blackman, the head of USTA t development, and he says that they're very supportive. All these athletes, when they trade abroad, or they choose a different way of coaching when it comes to developing the right strategies. When it comes to that, like Coco Goff's not being used in the USTA, Francis Tiafo's not being used in the USTA, Serena Williams is definitely not being used in the USTA. There's a bigger issue when it comes to the USTA in their vision for future players. Taylor Townsend has been having one of the best US Opens and that shouldn't be overlooked. But when it comes to her story, there's a lot more to it. In a CNN interview, Taylor Townsend's mother said that the Williams sister's parents actually helped her when she reached out to them asking for advice on the tour and what to expect because they really didn't know what they were getting into. Taylor was such a great athlete at such a young age that it was a lot of pressure and a lot of moving parts when it came to understanding what was going on on tour. So the Williams sister's parents actually helped her mom and her dad understand what was actually going on and what to expect when they were going on to the tour. And when it came to the USDA, I don't think anyone really expected that. Her mother in the CNN interview also had an amazing quote that said, when after the controversy happened, 
after not receiving that wild card. Tennis is an individual sport and there are tennis individual bodies. Everyone doesn't have the same body type when it comes to tennis, but and that's a positive image that you should be promoting when it comes to tennis and athletes because not everyone should be the same. Everyone looks different. Everyone plays different. Everyone is different on the tour and Taylor Townsend is one of those players that's making that stand and showing everyone that you can do it and you should be promoting her and throughout the entire end. This, in, this shouldn't just be a, oh, she's come up. Oh, it's a surprise. Look, a new player. No, she's not a new player. No, she's not. She's been around for a really long time and she, you should have been recognizing her for her grind and for achieving this <laughs> when she was the number one junior in the world. How are you forgetting her? You shouldn't. And after, and I think to end this video, Taylor Townsend posted an Instagram picture of herself after she won against Simona Halep and she had a Drake quote that said, I'm buying the building of every door that closed on me. And every door that closed on her is kind of peeking through that door now going, oh shit, did we miss something? And I think a lot of people are missing something with her. If you guys want to know more about other players that have been going through these struggles, leave a comment down below of these kinds of players and make sure you leave a big like on this video as well as making sure you're subscribed to Two Inner Head Tennis. There's a lot more going on at the US Open, so make sure to stay tuned for our US Open one minute recaps. We did one yesterday about Novak Djokovic getting into a fight with a fan as well as Medvedev flipping off the crowd, so make sure to check that one out. Check us out on all our social medias for behind the scenes. We're going to the New Haven Challenger this week, and I'm gonna be a hitting partner for some of the pros, so make sure to stay tuned for behind the scenes content there. All the links are in the description below if you wanna follow us on our social media as well as our website, tweenerhittennis.com. I hope to see you guys for the rest of the week. Hope to see you guys for the rest of the US Open. Thanks, guys.